Uh, this is Gary Fong, and I want to show you the new puffer for the Micro Four Thirds cameras. Um, now what happens, especially in portraiture, is that the um, flash here, this little pop-up flash, is very, very harsh. You'll see it's probably like a quarter of an inch by an inch, and it's just this little uh, spit of light. The problem also is, is when you have lens shades, which you should always have when you're doing portraiture, it'll actually cast quite a, a strong shadow on your portrait. So what happens with a puffer is when we put it on, it uh, basically takes the light and it diffuses it into this half, uh, half circular shell and then it's also a very soft uh, uh, source of lighting for your portraiture so it gives you a little bit more warmer of a flesh tone. So we'll do a before and after picture and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, first one we'll do is without the puffer. So Now I'm going to put the puffer on and uh, we'll show you the difference. Um, one of the issues with using this pop-up flash is especially when you're using wide-angle lenses um, like this one here on the Micro Four Thirds is that it'll cast a shadow uh, from the front of your lens barrel and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to take a picture of the floor here and you'll see there's a real nice big shadow uh, on that part of the image. Now when I put the puffer on uh, what that will do is that will basically spread the light out uh, quite a bit more because you've got this plastic shield here. So I'll do another uh, photo of the floor and you'll see that the shadow is uh, greatly eliminated. I want to point out on the Micro Four Thirds puffers is that as with any puffer, as with any diffuser, it's really important that you don't have the lens shade, or I mean the puffer go in front of the lens itself. If you have a situation like this, you really need a lens shade, or else what's going to happen is the light from the puffer will actually create flare on the bubble of the uh, lens. So, when you're using, like, here I've got the 40 millimeter F1.7, uh, uh, make sure to put the lens shade on it so that you won't get flare, and that's for the best results. Okay.